the cause of varicose veins and spiral veins is incompetency of the valves inside the vein uh, of the lower extremities. Now, veins are responsible to carry the blood down from the feet back to the heart. Now, that has to happen against the gravity, and that happens because there are valves inside those veins that allow the blood to go upward, even if you're standing or sitting with the legs down. But when there's damage to these valves, the blood goes up and part of it goes down. It start going into different branches of those veins, and they start to stretch and getting bigger and bigger, and that's what we call varicose veins. Another term for that is a chronic venous insufficiency, and that's a general term about varicose veins, spiral veins, and other complications like swelling in the legs. Now, why it happens? It's a genetic disease, inherited disease. If your parents have varicose veins, the chances are that you will have varicose veins. Uh, that's the number one cause of it. Now, um, standing for a long time can promote that. Uh, sitting for a long time and inactivity, overweight, status and things like that can make you have uh, varicose veins or promote the development of varicose veins or spiral veins. Uh, pregnancies, uh, hormonal changes can make changes to your veins and also can make you have some symptoms of varicose veins. Usually if you have some uh, varicose veins, symptoms get worse during pregnancy. Um, other reasons are injuries to the legs can lead to varicose veins. Um, but again, the main one is uh, family history. Thank you.